It is so cool. 300 artist booths. And I'm standing here with Mary Mabia. You are co-chair of this incredible event, 30 Acres. Uh, there's food, there's art, there's music, so much. And I think one of the, the cool things, I know you're here with Flagstar Bank, one of the sponsors, is as we walk from booth to booth, these pieces of work on the wall here, I think walking by, you might just think, well, it's another painting, just like any other painting. And one of the really neat things here is that Mary and I get to walk around and meet some of the incredible artists like Janet. Janet, uh, you're holding these special tools in your hand. I I tell me about the unique way you create these works of art. Well, I start with a drawing, and then I trace the drawing onto fabric. Batik is an Indonesian word meaning wax writing. Um, basically, these batiks are done in a... Um, it's a wax resist process where the wax resists the color. So you start by waxing out the areas you want to be retained the lightest. And, and well, you've actually I, got some of these molds like this. Like this mold, I can actually see that shape up there right, in the painting. Right. So I, I will use my little tools yeah. to enhance the picture. Um, I get these from Indonesia. Wow. I used this tool in the sailboat here very realistic, but then I heat this in the wax, stamp the material, wow. it leaves a residue, and then the later dye can't penetrate. I use wood blocks, um, like on my angel behind you. And you even painted garment. this scarf, right? I did, with a special little squirrely, squirrely oh. tool that I made. So neat. Right? <laughs> almost like an antique now. Yes, I mean, that's so cool. Um, and you would never, you know, you can walk by and look at a piece of art and you wouldn't guess that so much create, it's just really neat to be able to meet the artist. It goes into it. I usually yeah. leave a space in between the shapes so the last dye bath gives yes. an outline effect, oh making it look like stained glass, yes. but in fabric form. I love that. And Mary, you get to be just sort of immersed in this and the preparation and making this event come to life. Yes. And then today and tomorrow as the event is actually taking place. Oh my God gosh, it's just amazing. And we have such a great community that just comes together. The businesses, including Flagstar, come in and sponsor the event. And then we have lots of fun for everybody because we have so much to do. Like we've got the fine art and then we've got the kids zone and um, lots of food, which I am going to indulge in later. Yeah, I've been eating all morning. I've been eating away. So now I have all the energy to admire the art and absorb the knowledge. I, I love that um, you're sort of teaching us. I mean, have you ever heard of this kind of the wax painting? Oh, no, this is so unique. And that's the beauty of it all, because art is in the eyes of the beholder. And ev there's art for everybody. Yeah. And so there's so much to see. And this is so creative. And yeah. Um, this is one of the best art shows, and we were so honored yeah. to actually get won. number 10. Like, right. Top 10 in the country. In the I know. Yes. High five. Yay. Nice work. And guess what, folks? It is free. They do ask for a $5 donation that helps support the Pink Creek Center for the Arts. But you can come. It's a free event, and you meet incredible artists. Uh, thank you so much for educating us about what it is you oh, do. And I, she would be happy to share with you, and she's got so many incredible educational tools here at her booth. Which Being is so a former teacher, I get to play <laughs> teacher <laughs> here. And an artist and super talented. So it's all happening today and tomorrow here in Rochester. Back to you.